The deal was done. The treaty had been signed. The Strukal Empire was the 234th spacefaring civilization to join the Galactic Council. A great day for the entire free universe. I would like to congratulate you personally, said the Galactic Chancellor to the Strukal Ambassador. You've made the right choice. You will soon find, though, that not everyone in this galaxy is as tolerant as us. I'm thinking about a species in particular relatively close to your space, which I think you should be warned about. They won't be much of a threat, more a general annoyance, but, uh, where to begin? So, back when the Council was still a young organization, we made contact with the species from outside the Galactic Core for the first time. They were one of the oldest and most developed species in the galaxy at the time. To be honest, they still are, despite their isolationism. Although I guess you're not that isolated when your territory covers about 2% of every star system in the galaxy, and you made yourself a little coalition of brainwashed uplifts. But I digress. This species was called humans, and they were eager to join the Council at first. Their two ambassadors worked tirelessly to treat every single little point about Council regulations they would have to include in their own legislation, and seemed genuinely willing to do some sacrifices to get some new friends. Then we reached commercial laws, and something incomprehensible happened. The first law of commerce is, as I am sure you're aware, that you cannot ban the flow of any good through your territory unless said good is prohibited by galactic law. The humans accepted gladly, yet when we got to the harmonization of taxes on products, things went sour pretty quickly. We told them the recommended rates for a variety of common goods. They have not changed that much since then. Luxury clothing, 5%. Rare ores and jewelry, 7%. Slaves, 6%. As soon as we mentioned the tax on slaves, they seemed disgusted. My predecessor assumed that for them, like for many other species, slaves were very culturally important, and they were worried that these taxes would impact their way of life. She was quick to reassure them that these rates were just recommendations, and they could go lower if they wanted. The human's response was an unexpected one. I assume the former statement about not forbidding the flow of any legal good also applies to slaves, one ambassador said. My predecessor said yes, not understanding what that had to do with the current problem. At this, the other human ambassador said, You know what? We won't be joining your mockery of an organization in a million years and hope to never have the displeasure of meeting you again. Then they left without another word. The only formal contact we have with them is at every galactic election, when they send to every member state a message. Nothing more than a torrent of insults to our cultures and ways of life, which seemingly grows each time. For my election, for example, they denounce slavery as they always do, but also the tradition of my people to burn the husband alive during the wife's funeral. Then they insulted the tradition of the Zerulians to hunt other sapiens for sport, and the Itlakil one of using them as cattle. They went as far as to imply that the genetic modification the cattle underwent to be put in a perpetual state of pleasure only made things worse. They even claimed that the Ustra tradition of marrying children is barbaric and decried any form of eugenics, even for the disabled. Wait, they think eugenics is bad? I know. How such a species can maintain such a large empire despite their bigotry and moral bankruptcy is beyond me. But these messages can just be ignored, so they're not such a big deal, are they? Well, that's what everyone says to themselves. But it still hurts to see there is a species with such hatred for anything different in our own galaxy. The part that makes them really annoying is not the messages, though. If by some accident one of your ships ends up in their territory, consider it gone forever. The crew will be put in prison for the rest of their lives while any slave that might be aboard will be stripped from the purpose of their existence in the name of some mysterious and twisted ideal. The humans will also gladly take in any fugitive, revolutionary, or free thinker that opposes our most sacred tradition. Sometimes they go as far as to spread their insane doctrines among the masses to create agitation and destabilize our governments. Creator, these guys really sound like a pain to deal with. Believe me, they are. The Chancellor sighed. The galaxy would be a much better place if only they were not so intolerant.